Hello, dear empath, hot and sensitive person. Welcome to another coaching video here with me. I'm Light Orko Laura, and I'm your life coach and also your solution based therapist, um, psychic medium, light worker, etc. Um, <laughs> and I'm here to give you guidance today on setting your goals and I want to tell you also that I have services regarding this so if you're interested in working on your goals how to set them and how to stick the stick to them as you are an empath or a husband person or both and you are recovering after narcissistic abuse experiences and you want to be healing and thriving, obviously. You want to be happy again. You don't want to be suffering anymore. So it is crucial to focus on your self-care routines, on your self-love routines, you know, because you cannot really love yourself and, you know, take care of yourself if you don't have these habits set in place, you know, such as boundaries, for example. So... I just want to invite you today, as you're watching this video, to really think about this topic, if it resonates with you, that you want to focus on your self-love, you want to focus on your self-care, you want to focus on those routines and habits every single day, you want to commit to them so that you can improve and build your life and, you know, heal, really heal, because you are responsible for yourself nobody else you are responsible for your own life for your feelings emotions thoughts everything you know you cannot let the outside world control you and your life and you can control also your thoughts and emotions and feelings so you don't have to be in the victim mindset and you know, it is a powerful way to start getting out of this if you are stuck with this situation. You are stuck in that. So start to work on your goals. Start to practice setting your goals. What can you do each day to make your life better, to improve your state of mind, your self-concept? And, you know, your whole life will improve and heal. Your energies will heal. Your body will heal as you really just work on these things. You have more faith in the universe. You have more faith in yourself. Also, as you start to do this, you will start to notice that, okay, I can do this. I can do these different things and I am capable, you know, because the narcissist has really put you down and brainwashed you into thinking that you are just some loser who doesn't deserve good things, who cannot do things, you know, who, who is incapable of committing to your goals, for example. So I am here to help you with this problem. So I have, for example, my free goal setting worksheet is available on my website and I have also created a time management guide there and um, it's only one euro. <laughs> um, I wanted to set a really low price because I just really want to invite people in, you know, to really finding out about me and my work and, you know, what I do, what I'm about and, you know, how I can help. And these things, these tools are very powerful because I just really wish that I had had these same tools when I was growing up and finding out about everything about who I am and what I'm here to do in this world. And um, as I have been recovering, you know, after narcissistic abuse, because my mother is a narcissist and my grandfather was a narcissist. And I have also gone through lots of, uh, lots of emotional abuse and sometimes physical abuse. And 
I'm still here, alive, you know, to help you, coach you, guide you authentically with my heart and soul. So don't hesitate. If you are looking for a mentor, if you're interested in a mentor, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I can really help you move forward. If you feel that you're stuck right now, you're stuck with a narcissist in your life, for example, you know, whether it is your partner or your parent. And um, definitely the goal setting worksheet is a good place to start if you would like some free assistance right now. So you can just go to my website and find the link. All important links are below this video as well. So it's not <laughs> difficult to just, you know, go and click and download, join my mailing list and download the guide and start implementing it. Uh, but yeah, so I really want you to understand this concept, you know, the importance of the goals in your life, of your habits, your routines, because that is how you build your life. We need to be able to commit to these things if we want to grow as people. And you want to grow. I'm sure that you want to grow, <laughs> even if you don't know it yet, but you can. And, 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 you know, why would you not want good things for yourself? So if you're following me in my work, then that means that you are ready to change your life. You're ready to transform, you know, into being what you were always supposed to be. I have been in that situation when I was so depressed and lost and everything. And uh, been sharing about that a lot lately in my videos. Um, so I really have come a long way and I really know what I'm talking about you know because you can be so stuck in those negative emotions and feelings and thoughts and it feels like nothing is working out and you're just depressed and every day is just sad and, and, and draining and you know all of that well of course it is if you are constantly surrounded by toxic people you know and it's not your fault but you need to be taking responsibility of your own life and growing, you know, becoming who you are supposed to be in this world. And I'm here to help you with that if you are willing and open. But yeah, so let's talk about goal setting a bit here. So that is why I wanted to record this video that I would remind you about you know, how you can set th those goals every single day, because I know how difficult it can be when you're just struggling. So obviously, if, if your brain is too traumatized, if you are too traumatized, you're carrying the trauma in your mind, your brain, your body, your whole being, because it is restored in your mind, in your brain and in your cells and everything that you are. So the first step is obviously to acknowledge it and to start working on it, to start healing. And um, for example, if you can just decide today, if you can right now, if you can decide, maybe write it down on a notebook, for example, that you can decide that you will commit to taking better care of yourself from today on. So when you really decide and you really start doing something so that you can get there, you take small steps, you take some kind of action. Deciding is the first step, acknowledging and deciding and then taking action. So when you can do that, it really starts to open up the path for you. And the universe will start to work for you as well. Your whole energy, your entire being, your, your higher self, your soul, your whole body will thank you 
it will say thank you the whole package that you are it will say thank you because you are here to thrive and to be happy and your body your soul your heart your organs your cells your your higher self everything and the universe and god and the angels they all want you to thrive they all want you to be happy you are here to be happy so if you can do this right now today that you can write down this first step that you acknowledge that you're stuck and you decide that okay i will start to do something today so that i can feel better so that i can take responsibility i decide and i take action and it doesn't matter how small the action is it it it, it is the most important thing that you can just do something you know for example go for a walk or exercise or buy healthy food you know whatever calls to you that can help you feel better that is healthy for you that is not toxic for you because the thing is that you want to teach yourself to stay away from the toxic people to stay away from toxic energies and you want to be releasing them you need to be releasing them from your entire being from your life so that you can really heal and thrive so remember that you cannot give that power to someone else you need to own it you need to claim your power back you need to take care of yourself okay so maybe you want to reflect on this think about these goals what would i want more into my life for example and i totally recommend journaling of course personally i love notebooks i have a lot of to do to do lists on my phone and uh also physical notebooks and as a writing <laughs> as a writer person writer soul i just love to be you know, I'm thinking about things all the time and writing things down. So maybe, maybe you are like that as well. But, you know, you find your own style. And, you know, the most important thing is that you can just listen to yourself. Okay, listen to your heart, your soul, your higher self. Be calling all of your energy back if you feel that you have given it away and start listening to your intuition, to your heart, your soul, your higher self. Because you are a spirit in a human body and your higher self is the most powerful thing about you. And you have to take care of the whole entire package that you are. You are responsible for it. Your body is your temple. And your soul that is in your heart, it is really calling for you to do these things so that you can be happy and, you know, so that you can heal and thrive. So that you are not suffering anymore. So this is really why i have created all of my services they just came to me as downloads and i was so happy to really create these these um guides and worksheets for you i have also my boundaries bootcamp guide for only seven euros so it's it's very very golden the information that is in it because you know boundaries are so 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 important in our lives and a narcissist always wants to take them away from you, you know, naturally, because they only want to drain you out. They only want to destroy you, whether intentionally or not. But anyway, they are out to do that and um, how to fight back, you know, is how is is that you start to take care of yourself. And setting goals setting boundaries 
deciding, acknowledging, taking action, all of these things are so important in your daily life, you know, your self-care habits, you know, how you can love yourself again. And then you will make sure that you are not attracting those toxic people anymore. You will be more safe from them or you will be um, sensing and noticing with your empath, HSP, intuition, you know, you can pick up the, those signs if you encounter somebody who's toxic and you can just draw the line and you can say no or you can just block them away. And you can speak your truth a lot better as well, you know. You can be more honest with yourself and with others as you are doing this work. And don't forget that I'm here, so I do one-on-one -on -one coaching online. So if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, don't hesitate to get in touch. You know that all the information is always <laughs> below each video. So... It is easy to just send me an email or just book a time with me. Um, by the way, I'm still offering my three uh, free slots for 60 minutes. A free consultation call with me one-on-one. -on -one. So, for example, tomorrow we could have a call. Or next week. So that offer is still on the table. So if you're interested in uh, chatting with me for an hour about your life situation and how I could help you as, as a coach, as your guide, <laughs> um, don't hesitate to get in touch. The booking link is also below this video. So check it out if you're interested. And if you don't find a suitable time, you can always send me an email. Or just DM me on Instagram, for example. But yeah, so this is what I wanted to share with you today. That I felt was a really heavy topic. You know, because it can be so hard when you are stuck. If you're feeling depressed and hopeless and, you know, drained out and, and sad and all those things. And, you know, you just feel like you're defeated by this narcissist or feel like... For example, many toxic people, uh, like what happened to me, I felt like the whole world was like against me and, you know, things were just, uh, things were never walking out for me, etc. So it has been a very long road for me to really be able to understand these things and, and to be able to talk about them on public <laughs> to that too. So, of course, I want you to get there as well, you know. And I know that you are this amazing, kind, sensitive soul and you deserve the best. You deserve everything that you want in life. And I'm here to help you with all of those things, if you are open for that. So, um, I think this was what I wanted to share with you today. I always do these videos intuitively. So I'm not really setting any timetables. Uh, but yeah, so let's get in touch. Um, I'm also active again on Facebook, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, my Facebook link is also found uh, below this video. Uh, I, I have my Instagram and my Facebook link there also. So um, feel free to come follow me there as well. But yeah, so I'm wishing you a great Sunday. And um, yeah, check out my goal setting worksheet. It's completely free. My self-care checklist it's, is completely free. My time management guide and worksheet, it's only one euro. And uh, you can pay uh, via PayPal. And um, also, <laughs> also, like I said, if you need help with your boundaries, my boundless bootcamp guide is, like I said, it's only seven euros, so it's it's very, very cheap for for the value that you will get if you really implement in what I'm giving you there. If you start to implement your boundaries, because you know, 
a lot of people struggle struggle with this topic. A lot of people, too many people, especially us sens sensitive empaths, like just bees. And if we have been bullied and emotionally abused, physically abused, you know, taken advantage of, you know, we are struggling with our boundaries. So it is so important for your health, for your life, for everything that you start to really acknowledge your boundaries and, you know, where where your boundaries go and what you want to do about them and you know that you can really understand that you deserve to set those boundaries that you deserve a lot better because you need to be doing that you know you cannot just be silent with people we always need boundaries and especially as empaths at just peace we need energetic boundaries even more so that we are not those sponges you know just sucking people's energies into ourselves, you know, when they don't belong to us, when it's other people's energies, so that we can maintain our own beautiful energetic field, you know, that is healthy, you know, our aura and our chakras and our own own energy and high vibe. Because we are supposed to be high vibrational. Everyone is supposed to be high vibrational. But it's just, you know, a sad truth that people just don't acknowledge certain things and then they just slip from these things. And then there are people like narcissists, you know, who just abuse, other, abuse others. So it is very sad. And uh, usually us sensitive people, kind people, we are just, you know, simple targets. So we have to take action, you know, you have to take action to heal ourselves to step up you know and speak our truth and you know set our boundaries so i'm definitely your girl <laughs> if this topic resonates with you if you need help and a mentor someone to listen understand you and guide you forward and, and you know help you change your life i also have my coaching packages for three six and nine months if you're interested and i have a payment plan as well so we can discuss about these things, my, about my services, for example, if you're interested. Uh, all you need to do is just get in touch with me, book my free call, or um, email me, for example, or DM me on Instagram. So much love and light to you. It's a beautiful Sunday here. Love and light to your heart. Thank you for su subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. <laughs> Asking questions, being active. Thank you, beautiful soul. Namaste.